so hey guys welcome back to my channel hope you are doing extremely well and this is your very own mass code on this side so today's problem is maximize dot product this is the problem of the day let us see what the problem say so the problem says that you have been given two arrays array a and array b size of array a is given to be n size of array b is given to be m right now the problem says that you have the provision to insert zero in b you can insert as many zeros in b okay as many zeros not as many actually n minus m right it is given to us that n is always greater than m you, you have to insert n minus m zeros in b right but you have to insert them in such a manner such that uh, summation of ai into bi becomes maximum becomes maximum possible right so what are the provisions i can try so i can try is i have got my as2 3 1 7 8 suppose if i insert i have to insert two zeros right because n is my 5 and m is my 3 so i have to insert two zeros to make the size of the array is equal right so if i insert zeros at the starting only so 0 0 3 6 7 right this can be one of the cases so what is the output here it will be 1 into 3 plus 7 into 6 plus 8 into 7 because 0 will make the term 0 so it will be 3 plus 42 plus 56 so somewhere around uh, 59 61 and 101 right okay another case can be if i insert 0 as a third order so 2 3 1 7 8 i have to maintain the 3 6 7 order right i can insert zeros anywhere right other than that so if i say 0 3 0 6 7 right and subsequently i can form the cases as 0 3 uh, 6 0 7 again then 0 3 6 7 0 right and then i can form the case 0 uh, 3 0 0 6 7 3 0 6 0 7 3 0 uh, 6 7 0 subsequently many more cases to come right okay and i will calculate all the maximums all the sums and keep the maximum among them and keep the maximum among them so this is my actually the brute force approach i just tell told you so what i am doing is so in this case i had to insert two zeros right but in some cases i have to i will have to insert more than three four five so i will use recursion i will use recursion to explore all the cases right to explore all the cases to explore all the cases now let us see how will the recursion work right so recursion so the array given to me is two three one seven eight two three one seven eight and the array b given to me is three six three six nine yeah three six seven right okay so my approach will be to give a pointer i here j here right now if you implement the function solve which is taking my parameters i comma j with array etc it will be if my i becomes greater than equals to n that is the length of array if my i becomes greater than equals to length right that means the end of the array reached end of a reached right and if end of a reached, I cannot do anything. I have to return zero. I have to return zero. I cannot do anything, right? It, in that case, I will have to return zero. Otherwise, there can be two cases. What are the two cases? I multiply this element with this, or I multiply this element with zero. There are only two possible cases, right? For every i. So what I will do is, uh, I will say that. Uh, uh, also here if j is equal greater than equals to m in that case also we will have to return zero only i don't have anything i left like because we have reached here or here right okay now what i can do is my answer will be maximum of what is the maximum i have to multiply this element with zero and then solve for the i plus one so i will say zero plus solve for i plus one with j right because i inserted zero here and i'm moving to the i plus one pointer and the another thing another parameter of the max function will be i multiply this i with this i so what this j sorry so it will be a of i 
multiplied by b of j plus solve of i plus 1 j plus 1 right and this will be my only the operation and i will say return max this will be my whole recurrence agreed agreed now what is the time complexity you can see we are moving one by one step one by one step and it is a similar approach to take not take so it will be of 2 to the power n for time complexity and space complexity i guess it will be of n or 2 to the power n i don't know but because it is the recursion stack but the, all the space will be of recursion stack i am not using any extra space right Now, every time we see a brute force approach such as recursion, we try to make it optimize approach, right? Optimize approach. And whenever the brute force approach is a recursion, the most optimal way to, for an optimized approach is memoization, right? It is not the most optimal, most optimal is tabulation. We will be discussing that also. But all the things that are dynamic programming, right? We are actually using dynamic programming. Okay. So how will the approach work? I will use the same code. I will use the same code and I will send a DP array into it of size n plus one, m plus one, right? Or insert it with minus one. After this base condition, I will say if DP of i j is not equals to minus one in that case, return DP of i j, right? And after, before returning the maximum, I will say return dp of ij equals to maximum. That is before returning, assign this value to the dp of ij. This is only the work I have to do in uh, dynamic programming. Also, I will be sending dp here and here. That is something like typical typing mistakes we actually make, right? This is a memoization approach. But let us move to the tabulation approach because that is somewhat difficult for you to understand, right? Tabulation. approach so in terms of tabulation approach what will happen is we will have to make a dp array of size n plus 1 m plus 1 we made a size of m n plus 1 and n plus 1 right okay we inserted all the zeros in it all the elements has zero why because i want this the first column and the first row as zero why do i for, want the first column and the first row as zero because so, so, uh, suppose my length of m is zero in that case i will have to insert all the elements as zero so i have my first row will be zero and similarly if my length of uh, n is zero my n is zero there can be no case possible right because n is always greater than m so in that case also that is zero now my loop will start so for n i going from one all till up to m and for int j going from i going from i why i because all the values in the upper diagonal because of the cases where m is greater than n m is greater than n all the cases will be zero right all the cases will be zero that is not possible because so i will say for int j, uh, j moving from i to n what i will do is my dp of ij equals to max of dp of i minus 1 that is the same recursion case same recursion case we are using in the memoization tabulation means just start from the position and everything leave up to the memoization the recurrence relations becomes same there so a of j minus 1 multiplied by b of i minus 1 and another thing is dp of i j minus 1 this is for the case this thing is for the case when you are multiplying a with ai with bj and this thing is for the case when you are not when you are multiplying the ai with zero right so this is all the code and after this both four loops end you have to return i just yeah you have to return dp of mn that is the last element we just have to uh put as a result so i hope the approach was clear to you and you were able to understand what i was trying to convey to you so let us move to the code now here our first thing is 
I'm using the abbreviation approach straight away. So int dp of size m plus one n plus one. I will say that meme set. This is used to set all the values of the array by itself. So size of dp. Now for int i going from one all the way up till m i plus plus. This is right and another loop for int j moving all the way from i up till equals to n j plus plus right dp of ij will become max of dp of i minus 1 j minus 1 plus a of j minus 1 star b of i minus 1 this is for the case when we are actually multiplying the two elements otherwise just skip the element just skip the a uh, array element a element and multiply it with zero and move on right and at last return dp of mn so hope it will work let's try to submit it let's try to compile and run it first in the meantime if you're new here do not forget to subscribe so this is Correct, correct coming and let us try for submit also yeah it is running fine so thank you guys for watching my video hope you liked it in case you liked it please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you have a nice